Welcome to our review on construction materials. First thing we need to understand then is what we're referring to when we talk about construction materials. And quite simply, these are any of the substances we're going to use to make bridges, buildings, roads, anything along those lines. Now, what we find is many of these materials will come from rocks in the Earth's crust. So aluminium and iron come from these things called metal ores. So aluminium comes from this ore called bauxite and iron comes from this ore called hematite. If we're looking at bricks, then we get clay out of the Earth's crust and then when we bake it, we can make our bricks. If we want to make glass, then we'll take sand and heat it to very high temperatures in order to generate it. So all of those things come from rocks in the Earth's crust. We can also use some without any processing at all. Things like limestone, marble and granite don't need any kind of processing techniques. We can just use them as they come out of the ground. If we consider these three rocks in some more detail then, limestone, marble and granite. So starting with limestone then is a sedimentary rock. So the limestone actually formed from shells and skeletons of sea creatures that died. They sank down to the bottom of the oceans and became compacted over the years. If we then come on to marble, this is a metamorphic rock. So metamorphic rocks, remember, are formed when existing rocks are put under extreme heat and pressure. And the rock that's put under extreme heat and pressure to form marble is limestone. So what we actually find is that it's changed the crystal structure under that heat and pressure. Now, if we compare marble and limestone, then marble is harder than limestone. And the reason behind that is that the small grains are actually joined together more strongly in marble than they are in limestone. Our third rock is granite, and granite is an igneous rock. And granite is harder than marble. So if you're looking at the order of hardness, then our limestone is the least hard, then marble, and then granite. And the reason that granite is the hardest of all those rocks is because the crystals are joined together more strongly than the grains in the marble. If we think about limestone then, what we can find is that we can actually use it as blocks to make buildings, as you can see in the picture on the bottom right. And we can also crush it and use it as this stuff called aggregate. Now, aggregate is the thing that we put under roads and railway lines in order to give that solid base. Finally, we need to consider how we actually get these rocks. So limestone and the other rocks that we're going to use are removed from the ground in these things called quarries. So what we find is that there are some benefits to having these quarries in that they provide jobs. And this is usually in areas in the countryside where there may not be many jobs going. The products that they generate are valuable and they've got many uses. And because we can sell those products, it helps the country's economy. But there are also some downsides that we need to consider. First one is these are not particularly pretty things. OK, if you look at the picture towards the left there, you can see it's basically a giant hole. So because it's not so pretty to look at, then it could damage the tourist industry if we are actually damaging areas of natural beauty. They're noisy. OK, in order to get the rocks out of the ground, they will use big chunks of explosives in order to blast the rock away. And as a result of that, it's going to create a lot of dust in the area, too. We'll also get extra traffic on the roads because we're going to have to transport those materials away from the quarry to where they can be processed. And it destroys that original landscape and it takes up land space that we could use for other things. However, once that quarry reaches the end of its life, then we need to think what we're going to do with it. And one of the best examples of what they've done in order to actually regenerate a quarry into something useful was the old Blue Circle Works, which was up around Dartford area in Kent. And what they've got, the quarry on the left is what it used to look like. And on the right is what it looks like today, because they decided to build Blue Water Shopping Centre there. So the reason it's called Blue Water is because it used to be the old Blue Circle Cement Works that lived in that same spot. And they reprocessed the entire area to make it into that very large shopping centre that I'm sure several of us have actually been to.